old-fashioned hand truck. You know, it's got a little foot on the bottom, nice long arms, so you get leverage off of it, you can pick something up with it. It's got hard rubber tires, so it's great on hard surfaces, concrete, you know, wood, whatever. But like this last job that I did is the project called Curtains. You can see it out on the website. I thought, because we're going to be in gravel, part of the time, from the driveway around the side of the house and then into the backyard. Instead of having a dolly with the hard rubber tires, get one with bigger diameter, wider air tires. So it's not as tall as the other. So you lose a little bit of your leverage when it comes back to pick something up with it and get it up off the ground. The pads are about the same, you know, the, the foot is about the same size. But with the air tires, bigger in diameter, wider, and you can let the air pressure down just a little bit, so they'll balloon when you put the weight on them, so they'll get even wider. It makes them a little easier in a rough surface, like gravel, you know, or like a bumpy sidewalk, or cobblestone, or something like that. It makes it a little easier to move. This one takes about half of the amount of effort to move something that this one does. How, so, how much weight can you pick up with these guys? so far is it now comes back on top of it. Or have it up so far this way that if you're trying to move it or struggling with it, it's always falling over you know, upright again. So you know, that's the big secret to them is you just got to keep in balance. You can move a lot of weight with them, but you got to keep in control. So the big tip, industrial caster stores. Uh, casters and wheels, you know, look in your phone book, look online, casters and wheels, search for that. You'll find plenty of them around town, I'm sure. But they have all kinds of you know, tools for moving things. They have all kinds of wheels and casters. You can take the wheels off this dolly, you know, go to the caster store and say, you know, hey, here's my axle size. Here's the wheel size. This is the room I've got to work in. Can I get something a little wider? Get something a little taller? You know, get something that's air over hard? You know, change them a little bit. Make them work for what you're doing. So a couple of the other things that I use quite a bit, really, are plain old furniture dollies. You know, they're wood, they're cheap. Uh, you can get them at the, the big orange store, or you can get them at the horrible freight store. Uh, on occasion, I'll change the dog, or change the wheels on them, change the casters, back to the caster store. And I'll get little bigger ones, little heavier ones, little, you know, little more precision ones, make them last a little bit longer. So on my other furniture dolly, I cut some oak, and put oak strips across here, put carpet across the top of it, make it all flat up here rather than having it tippy when you put something that doesn't quite fit on there correctly. You know, close that area in a little bit, makes it a little, little stouter, it makes it hold a little bit more weight because you added some good hardwood to it. So this is another dolly. Uh, I made this one a while back. It's got, ooh, God, they've got to be probably 800 to 1,000 pound casters on them. You know, it's all two inch square, heavy wall tube. It's a moose when you pick it up. But I've had, I've had about 1,800 pounds worth of boulder on it and been able to move this, to move this dolly with that boulder sitting on top of it. So it's an ugly old thing. It needs to get cleaned up, but you know what? It works. And you guys have probably been looking at this and wondering, what the heck is that for? Well, this is called a door dolly. Simple enough. Take a door. Slip a door in there. Up, up, upright. You know, around its edge, but holding it up that way. And it wheels around just fine. Well, again, this had hard rubber, small diameter tires on it for use indoors. You're working on a new home. You're bringing the doors in square tubes fit right down in here just perfect. Put the air tires on it, a little more flotation, a little taller, a little easier to move. I could put a 300 pound panel on this and one person take it to the backyard. Look at this design 
and now think about whatever it is that you have to move. Oh wait, I don't I don't have to use a hand truck. I can take this to this design, this idea, just a fulcrum, just a pad with a fulcrum with two wheels on it. And as long as I can get it into the center of whatever it is that I'm trying to move, make this wider. You know, make this a foot wide to take whatever you're doing. As long as you got the tires, as long as you got the axle on it, you can put whatever you got on there and away you go. All you got to do is, again, keep it balanced. Don't let it get out of hand. What about the Egyptian method? So what is the Egyptian method, you may ask? Should have been paying attention in school. Come on. You got something big and heavy, big stone, you know, big flat plate, uh, you know, big sculpture or something like that. Got to have a pry bar and a fulcrum. Something for it to work against. Where you can just pick something up, get wedges under it, get pieces under it, where you can keep picking it up, 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 get it up higher and higher, until you can finally get a roller underneath it. Once you get one roller under it, and get it back in there a little bit farther, you push it from one side, and get it up on another roller. And heck, now the voice can move them. The voice has moved them. You know, 800,000 pounds. She's pushed them by herself. The fun thing with this is, as long as you got a good hard surface to work on, you can correct that thing anywhere you want. Just by turning the rotor. And you can direct it and make it go where you want it to go. You can get it right into place. Then you come back with your pry bar. And there's all different sizes. Pry bars are wonderful. I use the heck out of them to move things. Get underneath it, just shimmy it over a little. Pick something up where you can wedge it, where you can do something else with it. I just got a new one the other day. This is going to be part of my Halloween costume. Once you get it up in the air, you 